we are going to switch gears a little bit and talk about a charity concert bringing together some of the top names right around the corner. That's right. Our friend and platinum selling artist Breland is back to talk about Breland and Friends, the third yes. Breland and Friends. Yes. Welcome in. Yeah, it's it's great to be back. Yeah. It's so exciting. I can't believe it's been a year. I mean, my goodness. We missed know. you. I know. We've been waiting for this day. All right, you're back. This is going to be bigger and better than ever. What can people expect who haven't been to one of these before? Yeah, Breland and Friends is a really unique concert uh, and show experience. One, it's at the Ryman, which if you haven't been to the Ryman, this is a great opportunity to go. Yeah. Um, I would say for the actual show itself, it's really cool because we bring out 10 to 15 different artists uh, each year. All of them are incredible in their own right. They bring a different energy to the stage. And um, it's a lot of duets and uh, an opportunity for people to support an incredible organization. Okay, so we have to talk about that. It's all to benefit the Oasis Center. Talk about that organization and why you chose that to be the beneficiary. Yeah, they initially approached me uh, wanting to do something together. Uh, and I, I went to their to their campus and they just do such great work, specifically with um, teens in crisis. Um, and that can look a lot of different ways, but their work is really invaluable in this community. Uh, and I feel like for me as an artist, if I can do what I do to benefit people beyond just who's in the room, uh, it means a lot to me and it's kind of how, how I was raised. And uh, it's a really special event. We've raised about $300,000 over the last two years. Wow looking to, to match and or beat uh, our first two years with, with this one. And I think some of the artists that we have coming out will help us be able to do that. I was going to say, Chase Rice, Josh Groban, the Warren Treaty, Walker Hayes. I mean, just to name a few, you guys. There's yeah. a lot of people. <laughs> this is going to be a great night for an amazing cause, as, as you guys were talking about. Now, this also kicks off the little more the little more country or tour. I want to make yes. sure I said that right. right. So what is like, and, I, and I've always wondered about this, you have the rock star life on the yeah. road. What is it really like? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, I've got a really good group of uh, guys that, that I'm out with uh, on the road, and um, you know, we're not too wild. We, we try to keep things pretty, pretty tame, but we have a good time. You know, I, I love being able to see different places around the country and, and internationally too, which we've had a chance to do a lot of. Um, you know, the, each of our shows very high energy, so I have to like rest and recover afterwards and, and try to bring that energy night in and night out. Uh, this tour in particular, you know, this will be my first domestic run in, you know, as a headliner in wow. a year and a half. So. Mm. I've, I've grown a lot over the last year and a half, you know, some of the opening slot shows that we've played, festivals and things like that, and I'm excited to, to bring that energy to the stage. Yeah, because you have a lot, like you said, a lot of energy on stage, but you said that you kind of balance it when you song, right? And you have new music coming out, yeah. so do you have, can you drop any hints? Yeah, we just dropped a song a couple weeks ago called yeah. Heartbreak and Alcohol, which has been doing pretty well over the last few weeks. and. Uh, some more music coming. Uh, potentially the name of the tour could be uh, mm -hmm. an indicator of, of songs that we have in the pipeline. Uh, but yeah, I think being in the studio uh, gives me the opportunity to kind of reflect. It's more for me. Uh, but then playing shows is more for, for the people. So it gives me a nice balance of kind of introspection and also an opportunity to, to do something for others. Wow. Sorry, oh, no, I was going to say, um, I listened to an interview um, of yours back in the day, and it kind of circles back to Oasis Center. Um, but you said that you had to really dig deep to find um, the confidence yeah. to move forward because you you were told that you wouldn't be successful. Yeah. So where do you find that? Yeah, I, I mean, I find a lot of that from the people in the crowd. You know, I, I think for myself, I'm, I'm working on that. I'm still, it's still a. a process, you know, developing that confidence. Anytime you've been told that you can't do something, once you're actually doing it, that in and of itself gives you some of that confidence. For me, when I step out onto a stage, whether it's 10 people or 10,000 people or 100,000 people even, um, you know, I try to feed off of their energy and, and realizing that it's not really about me at all, uh, mm. but that, I, you know, someone once told me that the audience's experience is going to be a reflection of your own. So I just try to make sure that I'm having a good time. You know, if I'm on stage and I'm nervous and I'm doubting myself, people will pick up on that energy, whether you think they will or won't, they will. Uh, and if you come out on stage and you're really grateful to be there and you're having genuinely a really good time, they pick up on that. And so I just try to make sure that I can control what I can control and, you know, get as much energy from them as I can while trying to pour as much energy out. 
Oh, you're so amazing. Beautiful. We love your energy. <laughs> yes, we Please do. Oh, come back anytime. I mean, anytime you want to be here. Anytime. We'll, we'll have you. Local oh, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Breland and Friends Benefit Show is happening at the Ryman Auditorium on March 26th. Get your tickets now and support a great cause.